All right, I saw the question asked a bunch, so I figured I'd do a quick video. We've got the new BTR shaft mount rockers here. Just put them together yesterday. Uh, changed over to Johnson lifters as well, so going ahead and checking pushrod lengths. So after doing all my measurements, I came out to 14 and a half turns on the pushrod checker. You do the math, that comes out to a 7.525, 7 which is going to come out to, with preload, a 7.56 pushrod. But, just wanted to do compared to stock length because I was curious. My pushrod checker here, we're set to 14 and a half turns. I'm doing cylinder 8 because that just happens to be the stroke I have the motor on. And the camera off here because I don't have enough hands. Make sure you see that. We'll start with the stock rocker. I just got one bolt sitting here, just keep this straight. Zero lash, just to show that we are not, we are actually set. Quarter turn, I have lash. So, back to zero lash. Throw the shaft mounts on, not gonna touch the push rod checker. It is a different size because I changed to the BTR bolts as well. And we are once again at zero lash. Back it off the same quarter turn and we have lash. So the BTR rockers and a stock rocker and a stock pedestal are exactly the same. If people are wondering about push rod lengths, it checks out the same. I will say uh, I played around with trying to make a rocker deviation. Just sitting here on the stand, I couldn't really tell a difference, but the BTR piece, real nice piece, went together real nice. Takes a little bit of time, but uh, nice piece. Looking forward to spending some RPMs this year.